Yeah, so this is a major issue uh, really across the federal government, but not only the federal government, it's across state and local as well as the international or the, uh, the, the, the national stage as well. Um, cybersecurity talent is at a shortage as we all well know. Um, in my department, uh, one of the things that we're doing is uh, establishing the cyber talent management system. It's an authority that we got in 2014 to actually establish a different personnel system for cybersecurity professionals. And I think that there are other departments and agencies that are also doing different things with regards to how they recruit, um, how they do outreach, how they incentivize uh, uh, private, or not private, but um, uh, cybersecurity professionals uh, to come into federal government and to retain that talent. But I'll also say that, um, you know, I think the cyber uh, security professionals and the, the career field doesn't, doesn't, um, it doesn't mean that a cybersecurity person has to come into the federal government and spend 20, 25 years. I think that's the kind of old workforce model. Uh, I think that we're very happy for cybersecurity professional to come in, uh, go into the private sector, come back into the uh, to the federal government, and I think that's the uh, we're setting up a personnel system uh, so that we can make that happen more easily.